John Monterano resides here in Milford. He uh, came here a couple, three years ago, um, and he's a resident in the community. Well, apparently Mr. Martirano, even though he's 72 years old and has been out of the Winter Hill Gang for quite some time, still strikes fear in the hearts of some of his neighbors. Um, several neighbors we talked to were surprised to learn who was living next door to them, but would not go on camera citing you know, any lingering concerns that anyone might have about how dangerous he was. One murder is too many, so 20 is you know outrageous, but... The fact is, uh, he was tried, uh, convicted. They, you know, worked a deal with him, the federal government, because they wanted to get uh, Whitey Bulger. He talked about how he would ride in one car with a machine gun and how Mr. Bulger or other members of the gang would follow in a second car and they would just pull up alongside one of their targets and just open fire and riddle the car with bullets. And he's in his 70s. Um, he wouldn't stand out walking down Main Street uh, unless you knew him. So, and a lot of people will know him because his picture is in every newspaper and on every news program. So, um, but uh, a year ago, walking down Main Street, very few people would be able to identify him. One of the most chilling things about Mr. Monterano's testimony was just how blasé and nonchalant he was when describing these killings. He used very short answers to questions from prosecutors. He did not emote. He did not show any emotion. He just kind of coolly described killing these people.